Yeah, for me. Yeah, I'm just why why should they, why should she be a female best? Why should a female be your best friend? My boy, what? I, like for me, that's my opinion. Especially if you're someone who's in a relationship, you have to bring for yourself. Yeah. What what are the disadvantages of which support? Listen, you can have I don't mean I'm not even a fan of giving each other these types of bestie shine. What's the point? Your even best friend knows that they're your best friend without you giving them the time. So it's always hidden and hidden behind the You don't need to make it official that okay, Appa, yesterday we were not best friends, now we are best friends. It's a relationship that grows over time. There's no need to be humble, it's person, but I don't share Guys, if you give someone a title, it's because they're scared that if you don't give each other this title, there's nothing to do. So he has a point. That's what I think. He has a point. So, guys, guys, because for me, like generally, I am not um, against you know having friends of the opposite sex. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like having friends of the opposite sex is not for a person because yeah. you get to understand the, the you know the other side. You get to learn. You no, know. but to the point of saying you know like you know you're my best friend or or this and that like like how we put it like giving each other titles. I feel like worst in a relationship, you know, mm. your best friend should be the person you're with. You know, that should be your yeah. best friend. What is your friend? You know. Okay, yeah. this one is my girlfriend. This one is my best friend. It's either I'm my girlfriend or not. Okay. 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 Like from personal experience and also like from what I've seen and everything, I I think like people of opposite sex, sexes, being like best friend of some sort, I feel it's like there is a very high like percentage of failure to that like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the probability of it working is very minimal. Okay. Like the first thing you get is um it's, it's a mutual thing, like it's a mutual friendship, mutual relationship, which means you're not the only one who gets to have to have like the same that thing. Yeah. There's also another person who has the same that. So you you might decide okay, we're just going to be friends and whatever, I'll respect this person. But one day that person will like develop feelings for you and whatever. They'll come out, oh, I like you on Chan Chan, but you just want to, you just want them to be friends. You don't wait. And again, you you would develop feelings, whatever you come out, oh, I feel like this. The other person that sees you as a friend. Always, one it's one, one, so always at one point, always one person always come out. Like Catch feeling. And again, there's always there's there's what we call like natural selection. I, I think those are the kind of friends we can be with. That's why for me, my definition of friendship is based on energy. I it's feel like natural thing. Why it's just it? all about energy. Like yeah. If you look around you, what has connected us? It's the fact that we are starting in Russia. Mm -hmm. That's how we met. Mm -hmm. What has connected this person? The fact that we start together. Oh, this person go to the same church or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's energy. So I feel the only female like I can call like friends is based on energy. Maybe it's because we met in a certain place. Maybe we have the same interest. I can tell you like some girls I talk to that I can give her to like maybe as friends. Just because maybe you have similar interest in music, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. But a person, I can't approach a girl like, oh, I, I like her, and I say, can I be your friend? That's that's oh. funny, bro. Definitely <laughs> 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 like that. And another thing, bro, like there's this, there's, there's this thing like whereby there's there's the rule of uh, reciprocation. You get it? Like the energy you put out always come back. So if you are treating this person fine. Even if you have the intent of them, like they are just a friend or something, after some, some time, that person is going to think, like, okay, you, you like them or some sort, they start liking you, but you get it. Okay. So I just feel like Let me add some. Yeah. the idea of like being best friend, like, with your female or something. Mm -hmm. nah, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. Yes, so my, my take on it is, sorry, initially we took on French. It's based on mutual respect and understanding. In the, the best relationships I teach in my experience, and that was yeah. that I felt uh, when it comes to opposite sex, and the kind of relationships which we've built unconsciously. 
you don't you don't have the intent of being friends with someone. You just find yourself to interact with someone unconsciously. And then these are mostly uh, the type of relationships we have from maybe childhood or uh, situations where you are not really matured in some aspect of sexual. And you've known this person for a longer period of time, such that you share some mutual respect between the two of you. Besides that, there is also another aspect where uh, people are, are emotional and formal. This makes it difficult for two people of opposite sex to be best friends. At, at some point, you will be emotional, it may not be because of the other part being attractive, but because you are broken down. And this person is there to provide the shoulder for you. And oh, people go right. through a lot of stuff like the point, yeah, that's Sometimes the, point. the only thing they need is that kind of relationship mm-hmm. with you because they think you understand them to an extent that no one does. And that can make them think you are the only person who can be suitable for them to do. Ah. So that makes it a bit ah. a bit hard and it's just a complex topic that I think if you're going to be best friends with someone and they are female, these are best built based on uh, long-lasting, unconscious mutual relationships, not intended relationships. Those ones are difficult to explain. Yeah. Okay, so we will do more with this argument. Uh, <coughs> okay. So I think I've been most of uh, the perspective from, from other people. You know, first and foremost, I want us to understand that we live in a black and white uh, society where we need to know that our, our opinions, rather, perspectives are, are different towards everything. And these perspectives which are different, which makes uh, our lives so unique. Imagine if we all had the same daily perspective. I think the world wouldn't have been the same. So the way we, we take definitions of our friendship as someone put it, it all kind of, you know, comes back to, to the way we understand it. So if you, your, your definition of being a bestie is uh, mainly on having some common interest, it all goes back to that. But let me just say that uh, to every action or to every effort, there should be some interest involved. The effort you make towards someone, there's interest involved. If you make efforts towards a female, you know, friend, they should be, you should have an interest to have something with them. If you make, okay, anything, any energy you put, any effort you put towards something, friendship, or whatever you do, in your mind, there's some you know, interest you have towards that thing. So if it's your female, your male, whom you're putting that energy in and all that. So at the end of the day, as they say, if you... I think being best friend, it's natural. I've never called him my best friend. I think he knows, but he's one of those... Uh, one of my best friends, but I've never called him that type. I just call him and all that, you know. It's natural. Um, there are some girls who are, who are being close to me. But I've never put the best things and all that. So all those titles that we give each other, we, they are efforts that we, you know, we, we try to go step further to to enhance something, you know, in the process. So I think, okay, for me, I, I would say it's possible to have a female bestie and a male bestie, but it's not necessarily possible to start calling each other all those things, especially if you are in a relationship. If you are in a relationship with you, you know, you, you beloved, then you have your male bestie and all that. I think your your girlfriend is your your bestie. Your boyfriend is your bestie. So you can't have a boy you know a, a girlfriend and at the same time you have a best friend, no one. Then who who is your girlfriend? What's the title of your girlfriend? Yeah. You know what I think? But, 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 but again, I think no, 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 no. it's a little bit contradicting <laughs> when you say it's based on understanding and saying you can't call someone else basically. Again, it goes back to those people that are in a relationship. Because we have open relationships nowadays, don't yeah. A relationship where a guy and a girl allow each other to understand other people. 
it's also based on understanding. Mm -hmm. So you can have a relationship. What you agree on. Exactly. So you can have a boyfriend and a girlfriend and they are best friends. It's based on what they understand I think and what they accept. I think what you yeah. Okay, okay. No, let me okay you guys, let me ask something. I think if you're ask the question. <laughs> like I want to ask something. Yeah. Like if you got a girlfriend, then she's got whatever they call it as a bestie. Good man. You would be comfortable with it. Me, no. But there are people that can be comfortable. Who, who can be comfortable? I don't know. You can be comfortable with your girlfriend. Look, if, you can, if people can go into polygamous marriages, if people can go into open relationships, you can't tell me they can refuse to have a girlfriend as a female bestie. Okay. It's based on understanding. Ah. From my experience, hey, a lot of most of the time. <laughs> 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 yeah, go on. Okay, most of the times the bestie thingy are usually titles that you know people give each other. But then, okay, like you find someone calls a guy a bestie, but then they talk like maybe twice, thrice a week. And then there's, there'll be another guy that is just my friend, but then they are texting 80% of the time. That's the real bestie. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's the real bestie. At the end of the day, I'll be less worried about the one she calls bestie, and be more worried about the one she's always texting, they just my friend. because. The best is, is, is just a title. There's obviously. Okay, but bro, that's why to argue on that part, on that part. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of us have been bestest before, like this. <laughs> 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 like, the truth of, of the matter is like, like is to be honest, like okay, the conversations you have, this person with bestie, yeah. whatever you have, yeah. oh, the connection you have, is just like a relationship without a title. That's the part because like. You, you get the same benefits, you, you, you get the no. same whatever, you, you talk the same way, <laughs> and everything. So, so I feel it's, it's just like a new thing that people have developed to sort of have like a relationship, but, but not be committed to it because there's no type of it. What benefits? Yeah, I think what are you doing? 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 Like having a relationship without a title, you're having the same benefits, talk the same way as somebody who's a girlfriend. So when we speak of benefits, what, what kind of benefits are we speaking of exactly? Mm -hmm. Okay, bro, so let, let, let me let, let me be specific or oh, go into the details. Let me just tell you this. I've been in a relationship before. Yeah. And I've had someone call me a bestie, I've had the best friend, the bestie to that man. Yeah. But there's no difference between whatever we're doing this person and what we're doing this person. Okay, this is just like a relationship without a title. So you are saying that the things that you are doing with your girlfriend, you also do them. You are doing them with your girlfriend. Bro, say like I'm not talking like physical or whatever. I'm not being specific. I'm just telling you that it's just a relationship without a title. That's the part. Okay, but can I can I help? That's the way you talk with your girlfriend. That's how you talk with that girlfriend. Yes, no, yes, no. Each and every friendship that we have has limitations. His point is, with this bestie and this girlfriend of his, there are no limitations. What he does with the girlfriend and what he does with the yeah. the conversation that you want. Whatever you talk, all about, the conversations yeah. that they have. If he talks to the girlfriend, he tells her that I love you. I think he's taking it sexually. You know, benefits can go a long way. Wait, 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 w
like, let's say you talk to this person, you know, if there's something that I know as a guy, you wouldn't want to share that care, you know, the care that a girl gives you when you're upset, when you wait a long, like, you're stressed, you know, you watch your girlfriend, you talk, would you love to share that care with somebody else as a bestie? Like, okay, she knows you have got your bestie, my bestie, went through this today, went through this today. How would you feel? As a guy, as a boy, eh? Like, personally, all of us, how would you feel? Ah, you you know what, boy, she comes to you and says, no, my bestie, my bestie also went through the same thing, and you're telling her, like, okay, right. Wait, 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 those are benefits okay. such as sharing, by the way. That's okay. number one. That's mm -hmm. number one. They share the care for me, girlfriend. Don't forget to also share your time. Like the time that you spend with at the same time you spend with that person. Attention. Yes. Yeah. Attention. Yes. Attention also goes the same way. So for benefits in the world. So it's not just saying for benefits. No, guys, I'm gonna go Like Shepard, you are going to go scot free after four hours. I'm oh, sorry, listen. Let me speak my mind. Uh, okay, like, I, I don't want to defend myself, but then, like, I think I mean, what to do when you say, because you see, in your statement, you're actually blunt about, then you go to say, uh, I'm taking it in sexual way. No, because that's what I'm saying. No, so so now, you will have, have to understand no. this. I have to understand, understand this. Guys, like, part of a relationship is intimacy. You can't run away from that. You can, based on your principle. But then you should understand that that's part of a relationship. You, you can try and hide it if you want. But then you should know that that's life. It's part of a relationship. Right, so we shouldn't come here and talk about it like, ah, no, but share, one step, and no. Like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, like, try and look at it like that. So, because part of a relationship is intimacy, you also have to understand that when you're saying, I'm getting the same benefits I'm getting from my girlfriend and my best friend, then it means I'm also getting the intimate part of it. Oh, that's what it means to me. I wasn't talking about the intimacy exactly. Like yeah. that but I was just trying to tell you, he's not talking about intimacy. So that, that's how he's talking about that. Yeah. So now we get each other. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. 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 One thing that I would call something that is the end of every relationship that we see around them. So for example, to give somebody a title to say best friend. Yeah. We are living in a society that has created the notion to say best friends get to do this. And that has got a detrimental effect on our daily living because when you hear the word bestie or you hear think about it, that person hugging, share, sharing some affection on how they feel about yeah, exactly. matter. Okay. Exactly. Get the point. So how do we get to run away from this thing that is giving us on a daily basis? I feel the way that we get to them what we are having with people is very cutting. So let's say if you call somebody a close friend, okay? Not best friend. To me that sounds better. Like like uh, Morris had said, he doesn't have one to regard to as a best friend, regardless of the matter of fact of the things that they get to share. The best way that person can address such a woman is a close friend. I, for one, I do not have anyone that I can point on to say this is the best friend. Because that will bring up some other definition based on how society has stemmed us and what we have gotten to accept. So, running away from this thing that is already killing us because of the already preconceived thoughts yeah. that we have created in our minds is first by beginning redefining what we are having with these people. Mm -hmm. It is something that is sexual. You have to point it blank, bluntly to say this is a sexual part. And like hiding in the terms of best friend. Yeah, of course other people might have a different definition because best, because they get to share some quality time, because they share some quality principles which are similar. That might be their definition. It, it is something legitimate. But we, love, we shouldn't forget that the way we define our, our relationship with people also has got a general preconceived thought by the society. How do we change that? How can we help the people we are found with? But at least maybe changing the title and being open with it. So this is the sexual part, not the hygiene, the best type. Okay, so going further, further into the same topic, what, what are some of the traits do you guys think uh, platonic uh, friendships uh, bring into intimate relationships. Without the traits, yes, yes. Uh, uh, okay, I don't know, maybe I'll go a little bit off topic, but I, I think to some extent uh, I can say we are, we, are, we are discussing something that is a little bit more complex. complex. It's complex and I can somehow treat the conversation as similar to one where people are discussing religion. Because it's based on wishful thinking. 
what I believe in is what I want someone to understand. You know, that's why we're finding that we're having almost the same points, but to suppose that we are like, no, I was talking as a way something like that. That's why if if I remember very well, what's the name big man again? Mwendo. Mwendo. What Mwendo said is like he said he doesn't doesn't really take a lot of people to believing in something for us to, to I mean use different ways. But to say it's the right thing, you can have a small number of people that are doing the right thing. But you can have, that was your say here. But you can have a, a big number of people doing the wrong thing. So at the end of the day, like I always go back to my point to say it's based on understanding how you understand your life and how you want to live it. And so his point is making sense, right? But for me, I would say ah, it doesn't make sense to say we should just call it a sexual relationship at the end of the day because that's too something again that's going to bring judgment upon you. People be like, ah, so you sleep with this girl, so you, so can you still hide into something? Same as marriage, you can't say. I, I have sex with this woman. What? You're right, but you're married to her. That's a no. Let's just be open. Let's remove the marriage thing. Let's remove the marriage thing. That's what it is. Let me say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just make kids. Let's yeah. do what? No, like, there's still a time for something. Yeah, but it's just based on how you understand it at the end of the day. Yes, you understand it. Yes, Rick. I think, yeah, you are right. But what I mean is not to bring yeah. any wrongs as you are in a relationship with such a one to say, I sleep with that particular person. Mm. Uh, what I was trying to say is, we end up finding ourselves hiding behind titles and mm. not being honest enough. We are not candid with the people but that the are people, coming with. The people that are truly like living by what, whatsoever they call they'll be like, I'm basic. For, for example, Malik, sorry, Malik is the one that is bringing up this word, plat platonic. <laughs> That's my <laughs> friend. <laughs> So let, let me just add on to what you guys have said. I think, as, as Bikusa said, you know, we, we live in different societies. My society is different from Gabi's society. Your society is different from mine. You know, at the end of the day, we are just the different people who are living in different societies of different people, you get? Mm -hmm. So in these different societies, we have different interpretation of things. So at the end of the day, they are just different people who are, who are interpreting things which other people should believe. I want to interpret, you know, this whole scenario of friendship according to, to my perspective, to make you believe my perspective. So if you, you have a different understanding, rather a different perspective, which yours can fit into my view, we we'll still continue, you know, debating about what is true about, you know, female based, you know, male based. But at the end of the day, it's how you interpret it. And as Greg said, action speaks louder than words. If your actions in public, you know, they are quite, you know, quite suspicious. People are not going to, to believe the whole scenario you have, you know, and based and all that. So let's understand the fact that. We are different people who define these things differently. There are people who can define besties and they put nothing in between them. They are just besties, you know, they, you know, they, they don't share anything. But there are some who are behind such things. You get So to every principle of life, there's always an exception. That's one thing that you have to understand. There's an exception to anything that happens in a society. So, the, we, we have to believe some who call themselves besties, but there are some who 
we shouldn't believe because of their actions. So many